Good morning, everybody. This layout was inspired by a challenge on Victoria Marie's um, Facebook page, and it was an um, ingredients challenge type of thing. So um, it was a lot of fun to make. I took this, uh, these selfies of myself downstairs the other morning when I was voicing over like nine layouts I had in queue, um, or so I could get them in queue. We had to use three pattern papers, one solid, five die cuts. Oh, put that down way too quick. <laughs> um, five die cuts, um, some kind of, um, oh, well, we'll just see. I'll, I'll put it in the description below, but um, I picked out this kind of gray background and it was from the neutral stack I got at um, Michael's and then <clears throat> the cut and paste the hues and colors in this um, six by six pad go really, really well with that uh, neutral. So I was able to use um, quite a few sheets from this that I haven't touched in a while. So I was happy about that. And then I wanted a black and white stripe, a really thin, close together black and white stripe, but I couldn't find one in my stash. The closest thing I could find was from this Bella Rouge. And I'm hemming and hawing here, but um, Anyway, uh, I thought it was kind of funny taking these selfies and the one that's laying on the paper there I'm pointing. So I'm like pointing to you guys because I knew I wanted to make a layout about me um, editing videos and, and all that kind of stuff because it's a lot of fun, but it's a lot of work too. So um, I don't know. My husband, <laughs> when I was finished with it, we were going out with some friends and so it was upstairs here uh, so I can get pictures of it for the beginning of my video and he walked by it and he looks at and he, he looks at me he's like you're so goofy <laughs> he's like I like the pose and he he points at me like that but um it was a lot of fun to make well actually this one gave me a little bit of trouble it was just one of those days things just weren't working out you know um oh die cuts that was something I had to use so I made some these were from stamping up and I kind of wanted a film theme. And then I was going to, I was using my <clears throat> film strip washi tape. And I don't know if washi tape goes up, but this, it gave me a fit. Like it would tear in half and then it'd want to stick to the, to the, uh, it would not want to unroll. You know, it just wanted to fuse with the layer underneath it. And so I fought with that sucker for about 15 minutes and I would have given up on it, but I knew that that's what I wanted. <laughs> And I was kind of excited because I haven't, I, you know, I don't use washi tape nearly enough as I should. And so that was kind of fun. So I used that um, Polaroid die cut to um, accentuate that picture because it's the funny one. The other one's just kind of serious, me grinning. <clears throat> but um, I ended up not using this floral. It just wasn't. I, I messed with it for quite a while, but I end up not using it in the end. It just wasn't going with the film theme, I guess you could say. I wanted to pull in more pinks and stuff from that paper I was using, but we'll just see what I do. I don't know. I end up, <laughs> I do use this polka dot paper, but I end up mounting my other picture on it. And then I use pieces of it on the layout after that. But, um, uh, yeah, coming back into scrapbooking now that I have the time is really weird because I am struggling a little bit. <laughs> and, um, you know, if you don't do something after a while, you kind of lose it. And so I'm just trying to get back into the groove of scrapbooking. And um, But I can't stop watch, catching up on videos either. And the whole time I'm like, man, I want a scrapbook. And I'm like, well, you can go downstairs and scrapbook. But then I'm fighting myself because I still want to watch videos, you know. I guess I could have them turned on when I'm scrapbooking, but I like to look at the videos too, you know, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So I'm also using <clears throat> some of last month's kit. Um, I'm using this acetate sheet because that was an element she wanted us to use something with uh, texture like acetate or wood veneer or something like that. And I'm going to end up stamping on this one. And I'm using my Close to My Heart stamp. Um, I'll hold it up here in a minute. But it says just a little something something. And I think it's called something something from Close to My Heart, the stamp set. And I bought it just for that thing. So this is the first time actually I'm using it. And I'm going to stamp on that acetate sheet with my Stazon ink. 
and I just thought that was really fun. And then I'm going to use a die cut next to it that came in an old kit, Scraptastic kit. And I think it was the boy, the boy kit, but it says, bam. <laughs> and I, I didn't know what I was going to use that on. So I'm just kind of being funny. I'm So it's like, bam, just a little something, something. <laughs> um, I like, I did, oh, mixed media. We had to do some kind of mixed media. Well, I forgot about that part. So I'm hoping, Victoria, that <laughs> stamping and uh, sprinkling mist on my page counts as mixed media <laughs> because that's as good as it got. So I'm just kind of fast forwarding here. Now that black tag came from last month's kit and it had kind of this clay colored uh, reinforcer hole thing there. So I didn't like that at all. So I just took my black Sharpie and colored it black. And... Um, I wanted to use those eyeglasses, but I wasn't wearing glasses. I, I don't know. I just didn't think it was fitting. Who knows? But um, so I'm using some of these die cut pieces that I got from old kits. And then I use that um, die cut element up in front of the tag. And it was kind of like an old studio film kind of tag look. And that came from Maggie Holmes from my, uh, like two Scraptastic kits ago. And um, so, yeah, I think I met all the requirements, but it was funny um, just to kind of, I don't really do too many challenges, probably just because I hadn't had the time. So now I'm kind of hoping to do that. But sometimes I find it hard <laughs> um, to meet everything, you know, because usually when I scrapbook, I'm just going with whatever my mood is. So it's kind of fun to do something different and follow what someone else has given you. So I think I'll be doing some more of these and maybe I'll make up my own on my page, you know, just um, or on my YouTube channel. I'll give a theme or something to use and then you guys could show me what you make with it. But I also want to start um, experimenting with eight and a half by 11s. And that seems to be the new Kate Rohr on YouTube. She's starting a phenomenon with the eight and a half by 11. And I've never tried it. And I'm like, why have I never tried that? I don't know. So I'm going to give that a whirl. She said she wanted to see what I came up with. So maybe I'll do that today. Um, yeah, but um, mostly everybody's still sleeping. So I wanted to get this one and a couple other voiceovers done so that I should go see my parents today. <laughs> They're coming over for dinner tomorrow, but I'm like, I've just been a bum since I've been out of school. I've hardly done anything. And so I need to go see my parents. <laughs> I went over the other day and visited with them, but I'm pulling out my stapler and I'm just stapling above and down below in each corner. And I really, I really do like the look staples give. I just forget to use it, you know? So, and that die cut I'm trying to use down below says I love everything about this and I do I really love everything about this YouTube community and um, the the whole making the videos and everything and here I'm going to use one of these the story of today I, f I felt fit the page better because you know when you're voicing over and you're talking about a page I mean it's it, you know you tell them the story and uh, so I thought that was fitting and actually I was really excited that I was going to use one of those up because I really didn't know if I would use those at all. But now that it's on the page, I like it. Um, I think it's just because it's a new element for me, you know, because it's three dimensional. It's really thick, that acetate. And um, um, so sometimes it's, it's, you're thinking, how am I going to incorporate that? But it worked out just fine. And I had a little bit of space left for a title and so I'm titling this that's a wrap and uh, I don't know this is I want you guys those of you that do filmmaking I want you guys this is my challenge back to you I want you guys to take a selfie of you either editing videos or making the videos or whatever and or voicing over and make a layout because I want to see your process and what you guys come up with but here I'm just um journaling about the YouTube community and all the friends I've made, even though I haven't met them yet. But, you know, it's kind of funny how close you get to people that you don't know. I'm using this stamp set from Neat and Tangled, and I'm going to use the arrow. And I'm also going to use, it has like little snippets of sayings. So um, 
I'm going to use one. It says, you are awesome. And then another one that says, that is all. And I'm not talking about me being awesome. I'm talking about you guys are awesome. So I make these videos because you guys are awesome. And that is all. So I had fun. I, I hadn't used this stamp set. I bought this. I watched Jennifer McGuire um, use these hearts and distressing distress inks and that's why I bought the stamp set I've yet to do that see I wanted to put that saying underneath my picture but I had already mounted it on foam tape and I was afraid it wouldn't give up where it would give I thought maybe the stamp wouldn't stamp properly so I just end up putting it up there and then I'm going to use a tiny heart from the Heidi Swap stamp set a Heidi Swap stamp set I have and I was trying to match the pink and I just didn't have a pink that shade so I just used red so here's my mixed media <laughs> i know pretty creative right <laughs> it's like crud i have to use mixed media so i did some stamping and i did my little mists and it went everywhere but where i wanted it to go of course because that's just how this day was going i just finished it up with some enamel dots and that yellow sheet of paper was a little scrap just on my desk off to the side. And I was like, that's really nice. It pulls in because my walls behind me are yellow. So um, it just brought in a, a different color. And now that I'm looking at it, I think I kind of pulled the the uh, color scheme from Bella Rouge. That Bella Rouge. Doesn't it look like it's matching? Yeah. So anyway... This was a lot of fun, Victoria. Thank you for the challenge, but I'm throwing the challenge back out there to all of you who um, process videos or just take a picture, a selfie of you scrapbooking, and I want to see it. Be sure to tag me in it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.